meet the T-Rex of the sea, the mighty Mosasaurs. These were fascinating aquatic lizards that lived during the Cretaceous period, spanning from 145.5 million to 66 million years ago. They grew to colossal sizes, and I mean as big as 17 meters. Yeah, that's bigger than three SUVs parked together. Think of a swimming Komodo dragon, but like whale-sized. These mosasaurs had a tapered snout, rough skin, and instead of regular limbs, they had four fins and their tail looked exactly like a shark's tail, but flipped upside down. What's even more interesting is that these creatures didn't start off as massive. In fact, many scientists think they came from a family of semi-aquatic lizards called the Agilosaurus, which popped up around 99 million years ago in Europe. They were mostly present in the shallow waters of the prehistoric Tethys Ocean, spending most of their time on land, unlike their later descendants. Back then, these early mosasaurs were pretty small, only a few feet or meters long, and they snacked on small fish, lizards, maybe even amphibians, which is honestly a far cry from the epic diets of their later cousins. But over millions of years, they evolved and grew into the legendary rulers of the Cretaceous Seas. For millions of years, the Agilosaurus, known as the Agilosauridae, remained unchanged. However, they did face tough competition from two dominant forces in the water, the short-necked Plesiosaurs and the dolphin-like Ichthyosaurs. These two groups made the top of the food chain highly competitive, leaving little room for newcomers. Yet, around 90 million years ago, both Plesiosaurs and Ichthyosaurs went extinct, and that's what created an opening for the Agilosauridae. Now, one thing about these guys is that they were pro at ambush hunting. In fact, these bad boys could go from still to crazy fast in the blink of an eye, kind of like modern crocs when they get that burst of power. You've probably seen how fish bend into a sea shape and push off the water to get a fast start. Well, mosasaurs probably did something similar, but on a much bigger scale. They could cover 75% of its body length in just one second, so technically, if it was 17 meters away from you, it could get 75% closer in just one second. And in the next second, it could pass you and possibly have eaten you for dinner. Also, being hit by a mosasaur would be like getting smacked by a semi-truck. The impact alone could kill prey instantly, not to mention the biting part. These sea monsters could hit 30 miles an hour in just one second, making them the ultimate marine predators in history. Mosasaurs, based on their bones, are confirmed as reptiles. However, a significant discovery in South Dakota sheds light on their reproductive habits. A Pleoplatocarpus, often referred to as a mother mosasaur, was found with the remains of several unborn young in her abdomen. This finding strongly suggests that mosasaurs gave birth to live offspring, similar to ichthyosaurs. Unlike other reptiles such as crocodiles, alligators, and turtles, which lay numerous small eggs, mosasaurs likely had a small brood, typically no more than four or five babies at a time. The mosasaurs were pretty dark in color, and there's a good reason behind that. The predominantly dark body of this massive creature played a crucial role in efficient heat regulation and served as camouflage against intense UV radiation. Researchers discovered this through the study of fossilized skin pigments from an 85-million-year-old mosasaur, highlighting the importance of its unique dark coloration for thriving in the Cretaceous seas. Mosasaurs went through some major changes over time. Their hands and feet turned into flippers, and their tails became powerful tools for swimming. The most significant transformation was their size. They became so huge that it was more likely than not for a new mosasaur to be over 12 feet or 4 meters long. Some even reached massive sizes, like the world record holder, Bruce, a Tylosaurus, believed to be 43 feet long. In just 25 million years, these changes allowed mosasaurs to become the top marine predators, which is a surprisingly short time compared to other marine reptiles. They quickly diversified, with 42 members having a strong presence worldwide. But it wasn't just their size that made them successful. Mosasaurs varied widely in size, with the smallest being only 3.3 feet long. This range let them adapt to various environments, including freshwater habitats. There's another pretty cool fact about these huge, powerful marine creatures. Even though mosasaurs lived in water, being reptiles meant they had to come up for air, just like sea turtles do today. They were also non-stop swimmers, 
always diving for prey and coming up for air, just like us. Yep, they'd pop up to the surface, take a breath, and dive right back in. Scientists tested this in New Jersey and Alabama and found that around 3 to 17% of their vertebrae showed signs of damage from decompression. That's because they'd go up and down repeatedly. Moreover, this badass creature didn't just stick to one type of water. In fact, the first fossils of the Mosasaur were discovered in a museum, and they named it after a river flowing through France, Belgium, and the Netherlands. Later, more species were also found in the Midwestern United States, South America, Europe, Asia, Australia, and even Hungary. This just goes to show how versatile this creature was. It wasn't just limited to freshwater, it also made appearances in cold Antarctica, and there are probably a lot more of these guys waiting to be discovered, maybe even near your city. Now across the Mosasaur family, their teeth varied and were highly specialized, with curved teeth that point backward to the throat and an additional set on the roof of the mouth any venture into this seagoing lizard's mouth was undoubtedly a one-way trip. The question that follows such a scary bite is, what did the Mosasaurus actually eat? Thanks to a cool find in Canada in 2008, we got some clues. Workers found the bones of a Mosasaurus. The paleontologists uncovered not just the lizard, but also its last meal. They found fish bones in its gut and under its skeleton, belonging to a three-foot-long fish. What's exciting is that some of the fish bones had bite marks, and their positions hinted that the fish was the Mosasaur's final snack. This is the first time they found such remains inside the Mosasaurus itself. The way the fish bones look suggests a bit of a wild ending. Even though the Mosasaur's head was smaller than the fish, it probably could have swallowed it whole. But the scattered bones tell a different story. The Mosasaur might have caught the fish and tore it into pieces before munching down each part. Another cool feature Mosasaurs had was their jaws. Well, to be fair, it was more handy than cool. They had double-hinged, super-flexible jaws that let them swallow prey almost whole, kind of like snakes. There were two sets of teeth in their upper jaws. The second set, smaller and positioned farther back, helped them grip onto struggling prey while swallowing it whole. Some Mosasaurs even had specially adapted jaws, or rather snouts like Tylosaurus. With all these new evolutionary traits that started from a basic aquatic lizard, these guys became unstoppable, and by the end of the Cretaceous period, their impact was so huge that when a new member entered a new environment, it often led to a complete overhaul in the local fauna. For a good 20 million years, the Mosasaurs ruled the seas and oceans, and it seems like they were just getting stronger with time. In their final days, some of the biggest members, like the Mosasaurus, Tylosaurus, and Prognathodon coexisted, making life tough for other ocean dwellers. Interestingly, during this time, they were even more numerous and widespread than the mighty T-Rex. But just when things seemed perfect, their reign came crashing down. It's kind of ironic, really. The same things that helped them to rise to power ended up being their downfall. Remember how extinction events once cleared the way for them? Well, this time, they wiped out many Mosasaurs, and the survivors couldn't escape its effects. Since then, no Mosasaur fossils have been found past the Cretaceous boundary, marking the end of their era. Also, the same big size that made some Mosasaurs top predators became a problem. Their massive bodies turned out to be a challenge during the extinction events. Bigger animals struggled more, and none over 55 pounds or 25 kilograms made it through. Sadly, none of the living Mosasaurs at the time were even close to that weight. So, their sudden fame ended as suddenly as it began. In the end, Mosasaur were the biggest marine reptiles around, with jaws that nightmares are made of. They truly dominated the sea, and with their incredible speeds, you bet no other creature dared to mess with them. And that's a wrap. What surprised you the most about this amazing, gigantic lizard? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoy learning about ancient creatures, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more cool stuff about the past.